focus, Fortitude and Family. They're on a mission to introduce more Chicago children to the sport of fencing. WGN's Gander Hall takes us inside the Bronzeville Fencing Academy. Mask on. On guard. Ready, fence. Masks on. First period. Blades out. Fencing is the art of being able to hit without getting hit. Oh. Intense swordplay on the strip. Fencing has literally been my life, essentially. 25-year-old Aset Muhammad is a competitive fencer. I am very competitive. <laughs> I love competing. Competition, it, oh gosh, it's being within the arena and you're competing with other people that are of similar skills. I love the sport just as much as you do. It's, it's something that's really hard to explain. It's a beautiful sport. Her father, Malcolm, introduced her to fencing as a small child after she excelled in martial arts. Of course, when I asked her if she wanted to be involved with fencing, I asked her, you want to look at some clips? She thought maybe we were going to go around the community and start building fences, you know, putting, erecting fences for people and stuff like that. I just saw it, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> and I decided that I wanted to try it out, and from there, it's... I guess the rest is history. <laughs> She's competed on the national stage and received a scholarship to Temple University. And fencing has become a family affair. Her brother is a certified fencing referee and her parents run the Bronzeville Fencing Academy on a mission to bring fencing to more young people on Chicago's South Side. I just want them to think out of the box. This is out of box endeavor. You know, like I say, not everybody's doing this. Osset says fencing is more popular on the East Coast, but when she was competing in the Midwest, she didn't see many faces that looked like hers. She wants that to change. It's really hard to try and see yourself within the fencing, within the fencing world, if you're like one of one of one, essentially. And it was tough, but she had a good solid family. I mean, I was always at every practice, every tournament, and just the engagement. Like I said, the fencing just became our thing as a family. And that was kind of like the motivation and drive that, yes, she's the only black child out there many times. Of course, she got some great receptions, and sometimes she didn't get good receptions, you know, so. But the bad receptions, we use as motivation. We fight so tough. We always go three periods. The academy trains competitive athletes, building endurance and discipline. You're not tired, right? They also work with CPS and the Park District to give kids access to the costly sport. Regardless of what background, economical, social, whatever, regardless of where you're coming from, when you walk through that door, you're considered family. This is where we take them down. They want them to channel their fears into fierce competition. This is kind of like what I have on the wall here, I, where they walk in and out every day, you know, to, to overcome your fears. You know, that, that's my biggest objective because, you know, fear can do a lot of things and basically stifles you. But focus on smaller steps, okay? okay. And Osset is taking small steps towards her big dream. If it's too far away, get within distance. While she still serves as a coach at the academy, she took some time away from competing, living and working in Philadelphia with one goal in mind, the 2028 Olympics. That two years was really just to really work, uh, work every day, every night to make sure that I have everything set up, even from a financial standpoint, support standpoint, all of that set up so that two years from now I can be back in back in, in my weights, back on the strip, competing full time uh, and essentially enjoying the sport that I love. I look forward to her future. We're just beginning. In Bronzeville, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.